Pull up. Pull up. If you haven't forgotten me, that's cool. Uh, I'm Zilch, and welcome back to Hangar Zilch 79, continuing the trend in um, the releases called Stupid Pilot Tricks. Instead of teaching you how to fly your best jet, your best aircraft to the best of its capabilities, I'm going to teach you how to fly the best jet at your absolute worst. Important to look around, take in the beautiful scenery Eagle Dynamics has provided for us. It's, just, it's amazing. I find often lately I just fly around and look at the clouds because they're that great and they give you a great sense of speed and motion. Love it. So, um, this video. Uh, as opposed to landing at an airbase in a very inappropriate way, I'm gonna try landing at a carrier in a way that would probably get you court-martialed. I mean, definitely, for several reasons. I'm gonna call it a case zero recovery, because you should be doing this 0% of the time. Uh, I'm gonna use my sophisticated briefing software to see how this works, but for now, follow me! This way, Stu! It's right in front of me. It's always the last place you look. Because then you stop looking. So it's always the last place. I don't know why anybody says that. Who says that? Really? Alright. So this is the sophisticated briefing software I mentioned in my previous video. Which is called Stupid Pilot Tricks, Episode 1. Backwards Hornet, Echo South. This is going to be Stupid Pilot Tricks, Number 2 the awesome carrier landing. So, as we know, aircraft carriers sail on the ocean. So, this is going to be an exact lightness. Uh, the graphics are going to blow you away. This is sophisticated shit. Uh, you're going to need at least... A G I, gotta, I, I apologize to you guys. Uh, if you're on YouTube now watching this, and you don't have at least a GTX 1080, you're going to struggle with this video, and it's going to be all choppy, and I'm really sorry about that, but like, if you can't keep up with this, uh, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and lower my standards, you know, and, and sophisticated hardware and software to, to, you know, to, to, to meet the average user. I'm sorry, I, I'm just that, that sophisticated. So it's gonna be an exact likeness of, of, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna make DCS look like Microsoft Paint. That, that's where we're going with this. So um, what we're gonna do is draw the carrier. We use this sophisticated tool. The carrier is gray. This has a lot of colors. It has three by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times three. That's thirty colors to choose from. Take that VGA. Anyway, I'm gonna do the hull. And go thusly. It's gonna be the deck. At which we jump off before we shove it into overdrive. I'm gonna do that. That's the uh, the. Oops. I mean, I didn't mean oops, I don't make mistakes. That was, that was really intentional, so we're going to do it like that. And then we got a tower, which we can buzz. Like this. And actually, this is so sophisticated that uh, if you aren't careful messing with this software, the Department of the Navy may actually give you a phone call saying, hey, you're revealing our secrets. The stuff, the detail you can see inside of this carrier actually reveals a lot of, like, OPSEC shit. So... Be careful. Be careful. That's all I'm saying. All right. So, um, also important, equally important to this stuff, we got our, our, you know, we got our yellow shirts up here telling us what to do. We're not going to listen to them today. We got our uh, white shirts, but the closest thing we can do is like gray. Let's add another um, plane director up here, and um, you know, we got we got our. Our green shirts checking our, uh, our, our, you know, catapult stuff. So these guys are all up here, and they're what they're going to do in this video is they're going to be like, "Wow, holy crap, this guy's awesome!" Because what you're going to do is you're going to take note that there are clouds, and clouds are white. But since the background is white, we're gonna we're gonna make them gray. Clouds, and these clouds are going to be at like I don't know, let's say six thousand feet. But is that going to throw you off? No, it's not, because you're going to be at, in a Hornet, which is going to be painted dark gray. Uh, and we are going to be up here at, I don't know, say 100, 1,000 feet above these clouds. And we are going to fly through the blue sky using that blue. I know, this is like super fancy shit, right? 
So what we're going to do is start, I don't know, maybe a mile or two in front of the carrier. We are going to split S for the deck. And then we're going to pull up at, I don't know, let's say 160 feet. And look, check it out, this super fancy perspective shit. You're going to fly behind the boat. If you were, like, to the starboard of this, this carrier, and this hornet is on the other side of it, you can't even see it. It's stealthy. I mean, you know, I... Don't ask me how I had access to this. I, I don't. I feel very privileged. Anyway, um, so you're gonna fly behind the boat, so the uh, people won't see you. You're gonna pop out behind the boat, and at some distance beyond the boat, which we are gonna have to figure out, uh, we will deploy our speed brake. We'll pull up as, high, as hard as our Hornet will let us. I'm gonna curve, take a loop, a Cuban four, a half a Cuban eight, and at the top of that loop, we are going to deploy our gear, our flaps, and re-engage our speed brake. I'm going to punch through these clouds, because yes, you can fly through them, like super fancy, because the Hornet is that pointy, just slice right through it, and then we're going to come, and we're going to trap for a perfect three wire. We're going to screech to a salt, uh, stop, lift our hook, fold the wings, open the canopy, and these dudes here are going to be like, holy crap, I've never seen anything like that, and they're going to rush up to us and give us a beer. Yingling. And that's what we're doing today. Yeah, you can use this stuff. In fact, uh, shameless plug here. I'm the makers of this software are actually pretty sophisticated. So if you are interested in acquiring a copy of this, what you can do is you can go here and you can do this stuff yourself. Oops. You can do that too, but what you can do, just type this. Paint. Boom. Right there. Amazing. Alright, so uh, we're going to do this uh, quote-unquote the right way. I'm going to turn the radar altitude to the altitimeter on and turn the HUD to night mode so I can see it a little better. Not too glary. Kind of a split S down through the clouds so we can visually acquire the boat. We are going to fly at less than Cherub's 1. I sh probably should have set my radar on some bug to like 10 for this, but... There's the boat! Cool! Do 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 don't mind me. Hmm. How fast am I going again? <laughs> it makes me laugh every time, so uh, you guys get to watch it a couple times, too. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny, but it is. From my favorite angle. Surfing, bro! Back to the cockpit. Okay, well, but not because you told me to. I was gonna totally do it anyway. Actually, I was. Uh, what I picked up from the last time I did this in land it seems like doing that move better off 500 knots seems to work out. This was actually my second attempt at doing this. Uh, the first time I, uh, I boltered and just tossed the video out. But uh, this one, uh, pretty okay. Find that E bracket. In this case, E is for extremely stupid. Hornet 
ball. Check this out. Fold them wings, lift that hook, lift them flaps, pop that lid. Let's go talk to our new friends about this awesome thing we just did. I'm sure they're going to be thrilled. What's up, dudes? Hey, did you see me? I did a cool thing. That's uh, totally legit, right? Like, it's cool that I did that. It didn't hurt your ears or, like, any of that stuff. We're going to drink some yingling. Yeah, right? Yeah? No? Did that guy just puke at me? Play solitaire or something. Oh, hey guys! Hey guys! Hey! Hey! I got a good video of it. Do you want to watch? Do you want to watch? No? Cool. We're watching it anyway. Starting at my favorite part, of course. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've watched that and I can't stop laughing at it. Yeah, there's something wrong with me. At least one thing. Probably a lot of things. Up we go. Hooks out. Looks like a stinger. Because it's a hornet. And hornets have stingers to sting people. They're stingers that they have because they're hornets. Sting people. They're stinger. May as well drop the gear, I don't know. Look, a boat. Don't you beep at me. You know, if you just saw that part of the video, it would be kind of unremarkable. I'm not saying it's remarkable, but anyway. Welcome to the Woodway People Cooper. Please note that your vehicle is moving at the same speed. Anyway, thanks for watching. You guys too. 